25% of the world population is suffering from mental illness. And you'll be amazed, 66% of such people fail to receive any adequate mental care they require. Hello world, my name is Akshay Gupta. I'm founder and CEO of Art Proven. Art Proven is a blockchain artificial intelligence startup where we want to track, monetize, and protect intellectual property rights of the global art community. Our global vision is to improve the mental health and emotional well-being of our users while keeping art as a focal point. Today here on Entrepreneur TV, we will understand how art can really help people cure their mental illness. We will understand what is art therapy and what does it entail to go through an art therapy session. Today on our interview, we are joined by Tasha Teal. She's one of the leading artists here in Vancouver, Canada. She has, Tasha has length and breadth of experience in the art world. She is currently working at uh, Vancouver Visual Art Foundation as director of operation. She's also an art therapist where she's working as, uh, she's also an art therapist at uh, Lionsgate Hospital. She has undergrad degree in psychology and she's working towards her master's degree in art therapy. Tasha identified a unique blend between art and psychology and she often uses her, pers her perspective towards her work. Her work has been exhibited around the world including Los Angeles, Miami, and New York. Without any further ado, Let's meet Tasha and understand how art can help people with their mental, mental illness and to what we can learn from her. Well, we have Tasha with us, and uh, without any further ado, let's meet Tasha and understand what art therapy is all about. Hello, Tasha. Welcome to Entrepreneur TV. Hello. Thank you for having me today. Yes, uh, our viewers, and uh, we are very excited to have you. So, Tasha would like to understand if you can tell our viewers. Um, when did your love for the art world started, and uh, when did you discover the passion for the same? Um, so I've been doing art all my life. Um, as a child, my mom's an artist, my dad does some woodworking, my sister's an artist, and my brother's a drone videographer. So we've been creating all of our life. Started when I was playing in my food, creating. Um, all of our birthdays, we had bracelet making, clay making, painting, Anything that you could think of, we did it. So my love for art started when I was born. And um, when I started selling my work as a professional artist, that was about six years ago um, at Art Vancouver. OK, wow, that's exciting. And uh, Tisha, I was reading your biography. And uh, since your mom is also a very renowned artist, and uh, you know, in your biography, you have mentioned that uh, your mom would write uh, some keywords like love, peace, gratitude, and harmony around your home. And that will uh, inspire you to uh, feel more connected to the artwork, if you can uh, tell our viewers around that experience. Basically, she went around our entire house in our closets, wrote peace, love, and gratitude. So every morning when we were getting changed, we would see that message. And it, you know, it would connect with us. And it gave us you know, a lot of like self-improvement, self-worth, and confidence to move forward and to do what we, you know, we're meant to do, what our purpose in life is, and to go forward with it with no fears or anything. Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's really beautiful. Now, moving along, uh, you know, before we discuss art therapy, for our viewers, uh, just to educate what art therapy is all about, art therapy involves use of creative techniques such as drawing, painting, coloring or sculpturing, where people can express themselves artistically. Thoughts and emotion that are often difficult to express through words can be expressed through colors. You'll also be surprised to know art therapists are a trained professional with expertise in counseling and fine arts. So, Tisha, do you know there are 26 million North American experiencing mental illness? Uh, and their diagnosis goes untreated. What, what's your take? What do you think about it? I, I didn't know that. Um, but for art therapy, anyone can do art therapy. It's for everyone. There's no um, you know, age limit or anything like that. It's open. 
Right. And so, so moving along to the next question, can you please share how you use art therapy in helping adults and kids to overcome traumatic events? And uh, can you also share how do people feel after completing an art therapy session? So um, art therapy is a hybrid profession mixing psychotherapy and art education together. Um, we, I do individual art therapy and group art therapy. Um, right now I'm only working with adolescents um, in the hospital. And all materials are used, clay, watercolor, acrylic, anything that you can get your hands on, we, we, you, you know, we like to have it on the table. Right. And um, so basically it's uh, you express yourself through the art, especially if you've gone through a traumatic event and you don't have the words to explain what has happened to you. It's there's sometimes there's no talking. It, we're speaking through the artwork. So right. Sometimes I will start with a poem and check in to get everyone in the zone, um, you know, to a balanced level, and then we'll look at the art materials. And whatever's going on with them that day, they will express themselves through uh, onto the paper. Okay. And, yeah. And and how wh like what do people uh, like when you see people when they are coming into an art therapy session and when they complete an art therapy session? Like what change do you find in people, and what does it uh, look like? Um, well, it can any, anything can be different. Every session can be different. So recently, I did a workshop um, at the Face of Today Foundation, and we started the session with a group of fifteen um, females, adolescents, and we did a check-in on everyone's emotions. Some of them were anxious and nervous. They had no experience in art, and you know this is you no know, experience necessary it's not about the end product it's all about the process so some of the emotions were anxious and fear and after the session they were able to um, you know have fun and experiment right. with the art and so it was more of a relief at the end and wow that was so much fun it wasn't as scary as they thought it would be right. so some of the benefits um, you know increase self-awareness and your surroundings and your you know self-worth and confidence and right. just expressing that right and and like Tasha said I mean uh, like you mentioned that people were a little nervous on the onset of the therapy session mm -hmm. You know, for our viewers, I just want to share these statistics. I mean, and this is mind-boggling. Just only 50% of the Canadians would tell their co-workers or their family member that they are suffering to mental illness. So uh, that tell us there's a stigma around mental illness, and uh, people uh, don't acknowledge uh, the the harmful effect of mental illness. So I think as a society, we need to come out more often and uh, be very uh, transparent and honest with uh, the emotions we are feeling and how we can uh, get the help we need. And art therapy, like you said, is one of the best ways to heal your mind and soul. Yeah, it gets very, very deep down. Um, sometimes I, I give directives and one of the directives is what mask are you wearing today? Everyone kind of wears a different mask with different people, friends, family, school, work. Right. And so, you know, to let go of that mask and really, really express who you are. There's no judgment. It's, you know, very, very safe. It's a safe space and it's confidential. Right. Yeah. Perfect. So um, just to complete this uh, uh, interview. We just have some closing remarks from Tasha. Uh, what do you think about uh, Art Proven's focus on our uh, improving people's mental health and emotional well-being using art as a focal point? I think that's amazing, and I think that um, more people need to, um, you know, be open to it. And you're growing, and we're all learning, and it's a, it's really, really great. I'm really, really proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, Tasha. So, well, okay, I think. Well, today on Entrepreneur TV, we understood from Tasha what is art therapy and how art therapy can actually help people with mental illness. Join us again on Entrepreneur TV in our next video where we will actually understand what is actual art therapy session and what does it entail? Like when people go into the art therapy session, how do they feel and what do they feel and what do they feel after completing the art therapy session? Once again, feel free to comment 
message and share this video and private message me if you have any questions, suggestions around the art industry. Uh, this is Akshay Gupta for Entrepreneur TV and Art Proven. We are creating the new decentralized art community. Thank you, and we'll see you guys soon.